What's up, Sons? It's Blind Rod with Sound Attack once again coming at you with yet another how to video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to install Fallout the Frontier and get started in the game itself. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, I mean, come on, it's like the biggest Fallout mod ever made. It's been in development for over seven years. It has a ton of voice actors with voice acted cutscenes that are all in engine, making it extra interesting. And get this when I say largest, it's not only the largest mod, it's larger than Fallout New Vegas and all of its DLC combined. Of course, you do have to take into account updated assets there. But to give you an idea, Fallout New Vegas with all the mods on Steam is now around seven gigabytes. The Frontier mod for Fallout New Vegas is 27 gigabytes. That's a whole 20 gigabytes of new stuff for you to check out in Fallout. Now, while I usually do a lot of crypto videos for these talking head videos or the weekday videos, this is a little special because of course, if we're talking about the Frontier, you know it's coming to Steam. So you're gonna be able to install it on Steam. However, you really wanna play it right now, don't you? So I do. I'm gonna show you how with Nexus mods. But before that, if you want to get a whole home VPN router, you should check out Flash Routers. Flash Routers makes it easy for you to put every device in your home, even wireless, behind a router with an easy to use pre-flash DDWRT router that has a GUI that allows you to easily connect to your favorite VPN service, such as NordVPN. Check out the affiliate link down in the description below. I get a small kickback and it'd be super cool if you use it to purchase one. Without further ado, let's talk about what you need to do. Yeah. So first things first, you're gonna wanna go ahead and download and install 7-Zip. I already have it downloaded, so we'll be good to go there. Now, you will also need to install Fallout New Vegas. I'm using the Steam version. This does work with any other versions as well. You'll just need to go ahead and find where that version is actually installing the game files to make it a little bit easier. But the other note is that you need to buy the ultimate edition with all the DLC. That's the easiest way, at least. You could buy these individually if you already have some of them, okay? But just buy the Ultimate Edition, get it installed, and then you're good to go. Go back to your library and once it's installed, right click, do manage, and say browse local files. At that point, you'll have all these goodies here. All of them. Those are all the files. We have to add some more though. So how are we going to do that? Well, we already downloaded and installed 7-Zip. Let's go ahead and move on to Mod Organizer. So, Mod Organizer makes it super duper easy for you to install and manage mods. It's available on Nexus Mods. However, it is also available on GitHub. I will leave links to both down in the description because if you don't have a Nexus Mods subscription, they're gonna limit your download to two megabytes per second. If you go over to GitHub, it'll download a little bit faster. That's also gonna be true for the mod. Uh, if you want to check out their Discord, it's 20, you know, I think the download's like 12 gigabytes when it's packed. Um, but they do have a torrent that you could download from if you are so inclined. However, for today, we're going to be doing everything through Nexus Mods because it's just easier for a how-to purpose, right? So now we're going to go ahead and click the manual download. Then it will give us the options down here. We're going to go ahead and just get the Mod Organizer installer and click manual download. So once download, we're going to go ahead and open the file and run the installer. This shouldn't be anything too unfamiliar to you. You can go through and just click next throughout pretty much the whole thing. I am going to create a desktop shortcut just to make it extra easy. And then it'll get installed and we'll move on from there. You can go ahead and launch Mod Organizer now at this point. And then there are a couple things that you want to do for essentially getting prepared to do this, right? So uh, we'll actually delete this so that you can see how it works later. And then you're going to want to go ahead and basically come in here for your edit and select New Vegas, okay? So at this point, you also can go ahead and hit up your settings just to make sure that it has the proper file path and all of that because that's going to be super helpful and then you can go ahead and click OK there and then finally you want to connect your Nexus account so you can do that by clicking the configure settings and workarounds 
click the Nexus tab and then go ahead and click the connect to Nexus button and then log in with your Nexus account information. If you haven't created a Nexus account already, you can head back on over and connect it. You don't necessarily need to do this for this particular setup because we're primarily just gonna be downloading the zip files and then you can target it with the uh, mod manager, which makes it extra, extra convenient to be quite frank. I, I like it a little bit better. There is an option that you'll see here where you can download with mod manager if that's how you prefer to do it. Now for me, we are just going to be doing it without that per, that that route. So we're going to do a, a manual download. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and click the manual download and then it should pop up and give you the mod requirements. So like I said, you need all the DLCs here, Lonesome Road, Old World, World Blues, Honest Hearts, and Dead Money. And then the rest of these highlighted in orange, we're gonna have to download and install. The easiest one to start with is gonna be NVSE because uh, I, I noticed that like order of these, like if you install uh, the JIP or the Johnny Guitar NVSEs before installing NVSE, it can be a little confusing. So I recommend starting with NVSE which will actually take you to a GitHub. Uh, it will tell you how to install this, which is super awesome. Um, so if you need to look at instructions after the video, go ahead and do that. But we're just gonna scroll down to the 7-zip and click it to go ahead and download it. Should download it down here. And then we're gonna go ahead and open 7-zip. And right here, you see that we have NVSE. We're gonna highlight it and then click extract. Now I'm gonna go ahead and extract it straight to the new Vegas install location that we had. So control C and then control V. And then we're gonna go ahead and click okay. At this point we'll have the NVSE loader, but we need to copy this out. So we're, we're gonna right click and click cut, go back and then paste. At this point we're gonna go ahead and delete the NVSE 6.02 or the parent folder there. Okay, so once these are basically extracted, you can read the README if you prefer. However, all you should have to do is extract these because essentially when you run the game from the mod manager, the mod that requires it, in this case, of course, the Frontier, is going to detect and launch it through the NVSE loader. Now that is the first most difficult mod, I guess, to install. The next most difficult is gonna be the four gigabyte patcher. So we're gonna go ahead and click that one. And then we're gonna go ahead and click the manual download button. We're gonna go back into 7-zip and perform the same task. We're just gonna select it and then control, control C on our Fallout New Vegas folder. And then just go ahead and do control V on the extract to click OK, and you see we have the patcher here. We're gonna go ahead and cut, right click and cut the Fallout New Vegas patch in source. Go back and right click and paste. Then we're gonna go ahead and just delete that folder because we don't need it. And then at this point, we are gonna run the NV patch. This is gonna basically patch the executable. So it must be, of course, in the root wherever the Fallout New Vegas executable is. So we're gonna run that and you can see that it is already patched. In your case, it should say now patched and then you can press any key to continue. Now we're gonna go back and head back onto our prerequisites and just go down the list. Now we have JIP LN NBSE plugin. We're gonna go ahead and click that one and we're gonna click the manual download and then download. And this is where we can kind of start using the mod manager to make things a little bit easier. So at this point, we're just going to go ahead and click the file button and install mod. And then we're going to go ahead and select the JIP LN NBSE plugin and click open. And then it'll walk you through a quick install. At this point, you can go ahead and check it to make sure that it's going to be basically installed into the game. And then we are going to go ahead and go back and grab us some more stuff. At this point, we're going to go ahead and download Johnny Guitar and BSE. Click the manual download and download. We'll go back into Mod Manager, click File, Install Mod, and grab Johnny Guitar. 
it'll go through the install and then we will have it ready to go. So this is pretty much how you do it. You're just gonna go through all of these and essentially click the manual download. Then you're gonna go back to your mod manager, click file, install, select the new mod, right? This is the new Vegas anti-crash mod. Click next, install, and then check the mod. All right, so then next we're gonna go ahead and grab the mod configuration menu. We're gonna go ahead and click manual download. It'll download it. We'll go into the mod organizer, click file, install mod. And then we are gonna go ahead and grab the mod configuration menu. Go through the install process, install it and check it. All right, we are cranking along. Next, we're gonna go ahead and grab the UIO user interface organizer. Go ahead and click the manual download. Download, it'll download into the bottom. You're gonna go back to the mod manager, file, install mod, and UIO. Open, use the quick install, check it, and call it a day. All right, so finally we're on to the fun part, which is installing the Frontier. Go ahead and come back here and click the download button. It is 26 gigabytes, it'll take a while. Like I said, go check out their Discord if you want to get the torrent to download it faster. But for this case, I do have it already downloaded, so I may go ahead and do file, install mod, and I'm just gonna go to my desktop, double click mods, and I am gonna go ahead and snag the Fallout Frontier mod. And click OK. This one will take quite a bit longer to install because it is 26 gigabytes, so keep that in mind. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and click the little check button so that it comes up over here. And then finally, we do want to grab the hotfix. So hotfix 0.3.1. If there's a later one, make sure you grab that one as well. Go ahead and click download. Go back to the mod manager, rinse and repeat. We're gonna go ahead and install that hotfix. This is hotfix 0.2.6, so we're actually up. Oh, gonna get the newest one here. Heck yeah. Some new improvements for me to play around with. And then check it. And now we should be ready to launch the game. For me in particular though, we do need to get out of mining mode real quick. So let's go ahead and get the default so it doesn't run bad. And then we're gonna go ahead and click the run button. Yeah. All right, so a quick note about this. Most of it will look the same uh, at, at the start of the game. And I'm gonna show you guys how you actually start the game as well, okay? So you'll know that you're in the correct version if you see Fallout the Frontier, like this right here. So you've done it, congratulations. Your next step is gonna go ahead and be clicking new game and going ahead and saying yes to the auto discover. The intro is gonna be the same. Don't worry about it. You're still good. I'm gonna show you guys how to get into it. You're gonna to have to go through all of the basic intro that you should be familiar with in New Vegas. Essentially your character start, your character setup, your stats picking and all that talking to the doc here. Okay, so this is where it's really gonna start. You're gonna follow the dock to the exit and then I'll show you guys how to get started in the frontier. I recommend skipping hardcore mode to do this. And it's gonna do basically welcome to your progress in the frontier much faster. A quick start option that allows you to pick your level and get right into the action. If you would like to use the quick start option, select option one, select option two to continue about your game. So we're gonna go ahead and enable quick start. So the first point of order will be to select the level you want to be. The frontier starts at level 11 plus, so we offer a few options there. We're just gonna go 20, <laughs> All right. And then would you like to assign all your quick slot points manually or have the quick start system assign them? Uh, you can assign them manually if you want, keeping in mind, of course, that you probably at least want to look at the predefined classes before you do it, because 
what you're going to be able to pick in the frontier is going to, as far as starting weapons and so on, is going to be based around kind of these four. We're going to do ballistic, and then we are going to go ahead and do the, I don't need this for the legion path, I believe. And then we can now begin the frontier proper. Please wait a few in-game hours and either intern John or the suspicious courier will greet you. You can then immediately travel to the Frontier NCR camp. Enjoy the game. So we're going to say thank you. And then we're going to kind of walk down here just to get the, the little starting stuff out of the way. And walk around for a tad. I believe there are a few more little screens that are going to keep popping up. If I recall, I had to go through all the the screens before it really activated for me and then it should be key T to start waiting yeah we still have a few more here to get through just wait till all of the prompts are done here and it and it has stopped giving you all these notifications all right so now all the notifications are gone I say that and then it pops one more up <laughs> so now all the notifications are gone we're gonna go ahead and click the T button and we're gonna wait three hours, like it said. Sometimes it's longer. Um, and then we're gonna hit the W, it's gonna wait. We're gonna see if it gives us the courier or anything, or Johnny, doesn't look like it. So we're gonna hit T again, wait another three hours. I don't know how long exactly you're supposed to wait, but he'll usually just pop up right in front of your screen. Hey, can there I talk to you for a second about So something? it looks like it's you seven see, hours. I've been watching you. Scouting you is probably a better term. I guess what I'm saying is that. I'm gonna skip Just... through all of this. And then at this point, we can pull up the Pit Boy with the tab button and go to the data and the world map. Or I guess we have to go quest first and select in the army now. And then click world map. And then kind of come up here and fast travel up here. So now we're, we're up here. We're gonna go ahead and say finish travel onward. This will be the last part you can do this at. And we're gonna go ahead and walk in here. Whoa, hold it right there, stranger. He'll State talk to you. Business. Hey, Quinn. So just say that we hey, wanna hey, sign up and then we have to talk to this guy. Yes. Obviously right. these dialogues matter, so. You know, pay attention and pick whatever you want to role play as. I'm going to try to skip through it so it doesn't like spoil too much of it. And this is where you get to pick your gun. You got a sniper rifle, a shotgun, assault rifle, grenade launcher, scoped laser. A well rounded weapon. We'll just pick the assault rifle. And remember. And then at this point, he should have told you already to go sit in the back of the truck. Uh, it's this truck. That confused me when I was trying to figure it out. And you want to sit on this bench. So at this point, it's going to tell you, sure, you want to go to the frontier? And we're going to say yes. And then there are two modes here in mercenary mode. You'll be able to take all the items with you. Uh, really, for the experience for the first playthrough, I highly recommend doing soldier mode. And that's it. You've started the game. Alrighty, so that is how you install and start, of course, Fallout the Frontier. I hope the video was helpful, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll try to help out. Of course, Discord is going to be a little bit better for that, just because I have it up more often than I have, of course, this up. The performance of the game is pretty good. You are usually above 100 frames per second the entire time. There is a section with pretty heavy frame drops at the very beginning. And that's because there's all these crazy explosions going off at night. It's really cool. Uh, not to spoil any more of that, of course, for you guys. Let me know what you think of the new mod, Fallout the Frontier, of course, as well in the comment section. I'll see you next Tuesday.